Hello everyone, it's Kai. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to have smoother steering in CarX instead of like, you know, flicky and twitchy movement that kind of looks unprofessional and doesn't really look very good. And uh, doing it this way, you'll be able to have like a lot nicer lines. And uh, honestly, it'll just improve your experience playing CarX. So uh, yeah, man, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so now that we're here, um, I'm using a Xbox controller. You can use whatever. Obviously, it doesn't really matter. But uh, the method we're going to be using is called rolling your sticks. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, basically, you're going to be rolling your analog stick from the top all the way to the left and to the right as you steer. So instead of like driving and flicking it back and forth like this, you would be driving and rolling them left to right. So a lot of the time what I see is I see people driving like this with like flicky movement or like, you know, they're, they're steering like this and they're flicking their analog stick back and forth. Now, if you come from Forza, this is pretty standard, like flicking your sticks back and forth like this to control the car. But because of CarX's assist that they have, you don't really have to do that. You can just point your analog stick in one direction and you'll drive. All right. So the first thing you want to start off by doing is starting a drift so you're mainly doing the one thing which is pointing your analog stick in the direction you want to go and just holding gas so as you can see if i point my analog stick in one direction and just literally hold gas point it here i'll drive just like this now obviously you need to make sure you have a decent tune for this um you can go to my youtube channel i have some tunes there that you can check out whatever car you would like i have a good amount of cars but uh yeah that's mainly what you're doing you're holding your analog stick in one direction and then you're mainly using your brakes and your gas to control that speed because a lot of the time what people will do is they'll be you know they'll point their analog stick and then they'll just start gripping up like this so by using your throttle and using your brake to control the distance you're going just like this Throttle control is very useful at the end of the day, so you need to make sure that you have a fair idea of understanding how to do that. There's not a lot that goes into rolling your sticks, it just takes time to understand kind of how it works and, you know, how much you have to use and, you know, depending on the tune and all that sorts of stuff. So let's say that you try my tune and, you know, it doesn't really feel right, it kind of feels wonky, like the sticks and like rolling them, and it just doesn't really go how you want it to. You can always try another tune um there's multiple discords you know the carx discord uh other people on youtube who make tunes as well um but i would recommend staying in the 90 adh um area of tuning try not to go anywhere to at least like 110 to 120 100 is like all right but definitely want to try to stay at like 90s so bring the controller up close here again you're literally going to be pushing your analog stick up and you're rolling it from either side just like this now when you first try it, don't think like you're gonna be crazy smooth with it at first. Like I've been rolling sticks basically since I started this game almost, I would say. Uh, so I have a fair idea of kind of how it is and I've always been rolling my sticks. And I would definitely recommend if you're just getting started or even if you just don't know how to roll your sticks, uh, you should definitely practice it and really try to learn it. Even if it's kind of annoying, it's something that I, I think is a necessary to be good at this game um, on controller but flicking your analog sticks back and forth is really like it just doesn't look good and it's honestly not a good look plus it makes your lines look bad and you won't be able to drive as smooth so again like I said at the beginning of the video it also depends on your tune and how much you have to move your analog stick before it spins out or how much angle you can get so with this car that I have here um, I know exactly how much angle I can get before I'll like genuinely spin out. Like if I hold full gas, about right, yeah, see? And it also depends, throttle control helps with that too. Like you can get more angle than you would expect if you just have throttle control. Like I have a lot of angle right here and usually I would spin out, but since I'm using throttle control, you know, I'm able to keep the angle. I mainly wanted to make this video cause I want to help people who don't really understand how rolling your sticks works or even like why it's necessary or even if you're just getting started and you happen to see this uh kind of like some info on it and how to help you get better 
and also like i said don't think you're gonna be really good at it just because you first tried it maybe you are maybe you're not but if not like don't stress about it it takes a little bit to get used to and uh just like keep practicing and you know maybe try different tunes um i'll uh, be going more in depth about the tuning to help with the rolling sticks if it feels a little wonky here in a minute but uh yeah that's that's mainly it i there's not much else i can really talk about with rolling your sticks and with my hand cam as you can see that's basically what it looks like just rolling it from left to right right to left um yeah that's mainly it boys here we're back in the garage and uh we're gonna check out the tune so basically the main thing you're gonna be looking at is tire pressure and you're also gonna be wanting to look at caster and maybe front toe and a little bit of the suspension stuff but for now we're gonna start off with the front tire pressure and rear tire pressure so basically if you lower this all the way like this to 70 if you lower the front tire pressure your transition speed is going to be a lot more responsive meaning it's going to be very easy to move it left to right and you're not going to have as much distance to travel on your analog stick but with that it's also going to not make it as smooth unless you know how to use it correctly right so if you know how to use that correctly and you like how that feels and you want to get better with that there you go that's how you do it but again personally i like my tire pressure about right here because it makes the car feel like it has more weight and it kind of transitions more smoothly in my personal opinion again the rear tire pressure doesn't matter as much but you know it kind of depends like if you were to max it up you're gonna slide a lot and if you lower it all the way you know you're gonna be really grippy so i'd recommend keeping it from like anywhere from 150 to like 200 250 somewhere along there so heading over here back to the caster like i talked about the caster is pretty important so if you have it maxed out what it's gonna do is it's gonna be super super snappy your, your transitions are gonna be very snappy and you're gonna be able to flick very fast now i would recommend if you have like competitive specs if you're going into like a comp you know specs like maybe 11.5 caster would be good because you have a quicker transition speed but if you want to have really smooth nice and slow transitions with tandems i'd recommend like zero caster or like maybe even four you know somewhere around there but i use zero caster that's just what i'm comfortable with and that's what i've been using uh the toe also matters i'm gonna be honest i don't really know what it does too much like i do know but like not off the top of my head um i would just recommend keeping it keeping the front toe at a negative something and the rear toe at a positive something because that's mainly what's going to give you a smoother transition speed and a nice feel all right so onto the spring stiffness uh mainly if you have your spring stiffness really low um your car is going to feel a lot smoother and it's going to feel a lot nicer now that also again it depends on how you like your car like i'm just giving you some pointers for rolling your sticks because you know these are for transitions and how your car reacts differently so this is just how i tune my car now if you change it and you're like whoa wait this feels a lot better what was this guy talking about you know that's just a personal preference i just personally don't like my stuff maxed out like that you know that's just not something i've ever felt comfortable with it, it just doesn't feel right to me but um yeah maxing it out is gonna make it you know again a little bit more quicker um depending on how you transition or how you play with the car and it's not going to be as bouncy yeah that, that goes for rear and front springs to this and if you want to have pretty smooth transitions i would also recommend having at least a thousand to fourteen hundred brake torque if you're going to be trying to have nice and smooth slow transitions abs also matters but again it depends on what you like i use no abs some people use abs it's just kind of personal preference but uh yeah man that's basically it that's all i really have to say um that's all i can really give pointers on again i'm sorry if this was a little confusing or if this didn't really make sense or if this was kind of hard to understand you know i'm not the best i i, I don't really know how to give tutorials but uh, if you have any questions let me know in the comments i will always be down to reply i'll help you guys out but uh yeah man that's about it thank you guys for watching drop a like you know for your boy i'll give you a free cookie on go but uh <laughs> yeah thank you guys for watching have a good night good day whatever it is peace out